Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Friday here at the ranch. I got up early here today because I have lots of projects I want to do. Now I have been noticing that the seasons are changing, so very soon we will have to do lots of fall things to prepare for the winter months. And it probably looks like we have just about four to five more weeks of weather where we could keep the boats out on the lake. But why don't we get started on the projects? The first thing I really want to do is to wash the Chevy K30. I've been driving this around here. I will have to say it's kind of a good town truck just to kind of uh, go three four miles from home it's not too good to go uh, way uh, far away but 10 20 minute drive is no problem now we'll actually be hopping in this and heading over to the barn. I really want to get a big uh, barn project out of the way first and then we'll get going on some other ones. So what I'm thinking is to bring everything outside of the barn and I really want to put a concrete slab in there. It's just dirt and I just don't like that. I really want it uh, to have a concrete floor. Now if you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube channel. I'm really excited to be back here with the ranch and uh, you guys have been really liking this aspect of the homeowner series which is awesome so it looks like we don't have uh, too much to get moved out we have the uh, horse trailer we have the uh, X mark and actually we have to put new blades here on and I've used this probably two three times in the blades I definitely can use a new sharpen or uh, just a new ones in general and the Kubota wow this thing is a little bit covered here in mud but it's a, just a workhorse for us let's get everything moved on out now with this uh, barn here, it actually does not have any power as well. Those uh, barn doors are manual. They're pretty heavy to move as well. So maybe I'll have an electric company come out if you guys would like. And I think just putting power, having lights and everything like that is definitely going to be a good thing. I actually might see if we could add a few lights on the outside uh, because at night you can't even see that there's a barn here. I hope everyone's been having a great day here so far. Let me know how it is uh, down below. I'm actually really excited for this weekend here. Lots of cool videos and we will be back with a farming series. I've been getting lots of requests uh, for that. Yes, we are back. And I I've been just a lot of uh, time put into some other projects here for the channel. But we got those moved out. Uh, let's uh, get to this one now. This was actually an old farm truck. We bought it from a farmer who bought it brand new and just kind of kept it at his as his uh, uh, prime uh, possession here and I will have to say this was one great purchase here but let's get backed up here to it and uh, we'll uh, kind of get going now we are just using the landscape tool here it's a lot easier uh, than doing it uh, just the uh, kind of a building materials way and uh, this will have a lot more function as well let's see if we get it kind of roll on out here sometimes it is always tricky to kind of get the horse trailer going but there we go perfect well wow, that's awesome Let's get going here on pouring the concrete. Now we are just probably going to go with uh, probably five inches uh, thick here in concrete. Not too much concrete, but uh, this will definitely improve the barn here. I'm not sure exactly why it was a dirt floor here, but usually these older barns are that way uh, since uh, farmers were just kind of just trying to make do with what they had, and that's no problem. Rotate around here. Now I do want to do a little bit of concrete on the front and back of the uh, barn doors as well. That way there's not a big uh, kind of big mud area on the outside. Now I've really uh, been enjoying all the videos here on the channel, especially the homeowner series. They've been a ton of fun to film and I definitely have lots more things to do here. So the slab will just go like this. Let's see, can we do this little area there? Perfect. We'll have to do a little bit of dirt work on this side, which is no problem. And we do want this area. Now what I'm thinking for here is some attachments. And also, I really want to put the uh, firewood that we'll be uh, keeping there. A little bit of work here and then. We'll catch you guys when it's all done. There we have it, the concrete is complete. That definitely uh, transform the look here of the barn. And this will help out just keeping everything up off the dirt. And overall, I think just having the concrete floor was the way to go. Now, I will have to say we do have this little area right over here, you guys. Since it's a pretty cool small uh, door uh, that we could actually bring the horses in and out. Looks like the hinges are a bit uh, stuck there. Haven't really opened it in a little while. But le let's leave these doors open here. Let it kind of air out. And we can't really park anything on it for the next few days here but, but I think up next why don't we hop here into the uh, Hinger UTV and I really want uh, to buy ourselves a windmill here for the property just kind of an old farm style windmill is what I'm going for now we do have this trailer here but it is disconnected we have lots of 
firewood that needs to be split and I actually just ended up buying a wood splitter here so we'll have to pick that up here today but I'm thinking why don't we kind of put it in the center here uh, center of the big gates I think will be the place to put it and here we have it guys this old style uh, windmill here now this came off a century farm in the farm I built it 30 40 years ago and we just had to pick it up and he was uh, trying to move it on to the next person that is a pretty nice add-on here which looks awesome now up next we are actually gonna be heading into the store so I think we'll take the dually along with the utility trailer we are picking up the log splitter and we are buying ourselves a hot tub which I'm really excited for so like I have touched upon the weather is changing and very soon we won't be able to go swimming here at the lake but I still want to come here to the ranch and enjoy the weekends even uh, during the winter and the way to do that is to get a hot tub uh, we could definitely be in it while we are here so let's hop here in this Duramax and I actually really want to buy some new wheels here for it although I like the ones on it I do have some other ones that I really really do like as well let's kind of get this pulled out of the garage and we'll just kind of close the door now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Now, every time I drive at this 06 here, I'm just like, wow, this truck looks so awesome. Everything color match uh, looks really nice here. Now, I'm thinking I might color match the rest of the tow mirrors here. Now, I do also want a bed cover as well and uh, a few other things. Maybe even mud flaps will be a nice add-on here, but let me know down below. Now with this ranch, we are a bit further away from town here, which is no problem, but we are actually a little bit closer uh, to the new house. And one thing I did end up doing was moving this to a new save game and uh, moving the uh, new house to a new save game. Just too much stuff uh, going on in one save game has caused quite a bit of lag. Now I do still have lots planned here with the ranch and with the main house. I'm just trying to be as unique as possible and just trying to change it up here. And uh, I really do like this ranch here. Now I really want to buy some ice skates and possibly uh, some other things for the winter season. Maybe some hockey nets and we could definitely do like kind of ice hockey out on the lake. Now I think here with the lake a few of the neighbors did say that around 30-40 feet of it uh, kind of freezes up which is great and then the center doesn't uh, so that means we could still kind of have some fun out there on the ice. The half hour drive into town isn't too bad here with the 06. I really did like the Denali. That was one awesome truck here, but this older truck does just fine. Those off-road tires is a little bit of a louder ride, but other than that, that is uh, pretty good here. But let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite truck we've owned here with the Homeowner Series? We've owned some pretty cool trucks, and I think this one definitely tops the list here. But here it is, guys, our brand new hot tub. I can't wait uh, to uh, kind of uh, get it all fully working here. Lots of plumbing to do and uh, some electrical now this hot tub here you guys can see it's a brand new one with a nice cover as well this was a bit pricey at just over I think it was four thousand dollars for it but I think it's well worth it here let's see if we can kind of pick it up and put it on now I definitely want to kind of be more realistic use forklifts and things like that but I just found that it was just a lot easier to do it this way even though it wasn't too realistic here we'll put some straps on it perfect and uh, let's head over and pick up the uh, log splitter. Now the log splitter, we did actually rent a very similar one back at our old house and I did like it so I said, why don't we buy the uh, one that we used previously? Now there is one other thing I really want to do today and that's just to kind of go have some fun out on the lake here. So I think we'll probably uh, just kind of go out probably with the jet ski. I haven't really used that too much. But like I have touched upon guys, winter is coming and uh, fall is here pretty much and we have just about one uh, week left of summer here. So not too much more uh, before the cold weather comes and I think we might have to go on one more camping trip of the summer. So maybe on Monday or Tuesday you guys will be seeing that here. But let's see. I'm not sure if this is going to fall off here that's going to be a bit tricky but what I'll actually do is let's put it right up against the back gate that way if it does kind of tilt over it will be caught by there but there we go guys we'll head back to the ranch 
That was a long, slow ride back here to the ranch. Now, I will have to say I stopped two, three times, but the log splitter just kept uh, falling over no matter how I strapped it down, and I just kind of strapped it down here on its side. But overall, I would say this is, was probably two, three thousand pounds of weight, and then the trailer weight, and I will have to say the Duramax does one a great job here. I'm just a big fan here of these older diesels. They do just such a great job here, but that was one pretty long drive. Why don't we have a bit of fun in the Iowa? definitely have a few people come out and help us because this will be a lot of work and then we have to fill it up with water everything else and then I think we'll do the log splitting next week because I do have to put all the oils in it but let's hop here in the UTV and let's go have some fun out on the lake now I think taking the boats out of water will be a big big task as well because I want to clean the bottoms we have to kind of fully flush all the systems and uh, prep uh, all the engines and everything for the winter months as well and luckily this year we will be putting them under our uh, kind of trailer shed here but wow it looks like a few people have been sitting out here on the docks which is great and let's look down here so the kayaks look to be good and whoa look at that guys there's a little bit of water actually here in this now if you guys want me to take Take this fish and yes we will the kids have been taking this every uh, single day out just for kind of a small cruise around the lake especially with a few fishing rods but there we go I just pulled it a little bit more out of water water hopefully we don't run into any problems there but let's hop on the sea dew now the sea dew here is a ton of fun it's so quick as well this one here tops out at just over 80 uh, miles per hour now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's day here at the ranch. It's been a bit busy doing the concrete uh, for the barn improvement, doing the windmill, getting those few things, and now back here on the lake. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.